how to do a gaming YouTube short, I got you. The program I use to edit my videos is called DaVinci Resolve. It's a free software you can use for PC. There's going to be a link in my description. So if you're not uh, familiar with this program, you can download it for free. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. <laughs> So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. My version is 17. It's still in beta, but it still works really good. So first things first, what you want to do is import your clip. You can do this by uh, typing Ctrl I on your keyboard. Or you can go in File, then Import, and then Media. And obviously I chose a clip that is in traditional format. What I mean is 1920 by 1080. I'm pretty sure that most of your gaming clips are in this horizontal format, but the key is to convert it and make it a YouTube short, which is 1080 by 1920 vertical format. So what you wanna do for this is to go in the bottom right corner, click on project settings, then you select master settings. At the top, it says timeline format. So I'm guessing your resolution by default is 1920 by 1080, but you need to reverse that. So you put 1080 by 1920 and then you click save. Honestly, that's very important. This is the key. Then what you do is you drag, you take your clip, you drag it on the timeline. So just a simple drag with your mouse. And as you can see, I have my clip. And by default, you see there's uh, black spaces above and under my gaming clip. You can decide to go the lazy route and post it this way, like many people do, but you actually want to stand out, I'm pretty sure. There are many ways you can do your YouTube short with a gaming clip, but let's go with the traditional way of doing it. The first clip or the first layer is going to be the one that covers all of your screen. So what you need to do is you click on your clip, then click on edit. On the right side, we're going to see there there's zoom, position, rotation angle, etc. So you need to drag the X to make sure it covers all of your screen. You zoom and when you are satisfied, you stop. So right now for me, it's 3.18 zoom. Okay, so it covers all of your screen. Then let's say I want to make it more centered. You can use the position X and Y. So let's say I drag the X. No, I want it to drag it towards the left to make it more centered around my character. So this is okay, because I want to make sure it's centered towards this character here. This is a layer that is usually blurred, so you need to put an effect on this. So you go back to the cut tab, top left corner, there's effects, click on this. So you need to search for something called Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur. It's here in under Resolve FX Blur. Okay, so you click on Gaussian Blur. You're gonna drag it over your clip like this. Boom. Now, as you can see, it's all blurred and this is perfect. Like I said, that's the layer, the first layer. So this is the one that is underneath everything. Now, let's go back to uh, Cut and Media Pool. Boom. We wanna see your gameplay, right? So you take your clip again. The same clip you used and you're gonna add a second layer over your blurred one you click on your clip you drag it and you put it above the first layer as you can see i got my clip not optimized yet you could choose to leave it like that but it's not we don't see the gameplay really well right and since you're doing a youtube short it's gonna be on mobile so you want people to see your gameplay you click on your layer the the one up top you go in edit oh i have two sound sources hmm so what you need to do the green bars are the sound from the clip so you can delete one you only need one to delete one you click on it Control x boom like this so now you only have one audio track let's go back with what i said you want to see the gameplay but bigger all right so you go in the edit tab click on your clip and once again, you're going to play with your zoom. So I'm zooming in. Like I said, I want this is important. You want to see your main character in the middle. So let's go with zoom a little more. Boom, like this. All right. But my character is the little uh, fox or raccoon on the left side. So this is why I need to use the position X and drag it. To make sure it's pretty much in the middle like this. There we go. Gameplay is like the main focus as you can see right now. So we're on the right path. But the problem is I don't want to see the top of this clip. As you can see, I see my face. I see the uh, Instagram and YouTube. I, I actually want to cut it out. 
And there's a way to do it. It's pretty simple. Go in Fusion tab here. Boom. So now you can choose which is going to be the visible part. So what you do is you click on the little rectangle here because I want to have a rectangle. And now you have a rectangle with green borders like this. What I want is to have the full gameplay screen and nothing around. So you will have to drag it. I'm going to start on the left. Then click on the right border. Make sure you go towards the right until the end. Here is the end. I have a border like this. So this is okay, but I want to cut out the top. So I take the top border, drag. I'm dragging and dragging, but as you can see, like both borders, top and under are dragging at the same time. So I will have to be more precise. Uh, I, I don't want to cut out too much. So, so yeah, you need to fine tune. This is a... Uh, not always easy. That's That should be okay. So this is my gameplay. All right, let's see how it looks. I'm going to go back in the edit tab. If I go back to the edit tab, you can see here the top is out. It's not here anymore. Let's play to see. That's okay. That's okay. Because what I want to do is to put my camera at the top. And I'm pretty sure you see many TikToks or uh, gaming YouTube shorts uh, with this format. So if you follow me since the beginning and you are a smart guy or a girl, yes, you add a third layer. So you take your clip, drag it over here, boom. And once again, I have three layers now, but let's see in the edit tab, maybe. Oh yeah, the sound. I want to remove this. I just need one green bar for the sound, not two. So control X. it deletes one i would suggest is to go in the fusion tab first cut out the section you want you could choose to put a circle or an ellipse like you see uh, lots of the time personally i will use a rectangle because my camera border is a rectangle so click on rectangle there it is and now you need to do the exact same thing as before so you're gonna have to fine tune it so you drag the borders. I want my webcam. Let's go like with this. Um, hmm. I'm gonna try this. Drag, drag, drag. I want my face. Okay. Let's see how it looks. I go back to the edit tab. And as you can see here up top, I have my camera. So I want it more centered. Let's use the zoom first because I want to make it bigger. So when I'm zooming, it goes on the right. So this is why you will have to fine tune it. All right, so I'm dragging the X. I'm trying to make it as centered as possible. So let's try this. It seems to be centered. And uh, yes, I guess my forehead is cut off, but who cares? Let's see the clip. All right, so for now, it's pretty basic. Um, it didn't take me too long. I'm quite satisfied with it. Usually, I always add subtitles, but that's going to be in another video. By the way, if this is really helpful for you, click on the like button right now. So by the way, I'm planning to do more videos like this to make sure you have better gaming YouTube shorts. And obviously, that's a good reason to subscribe if you want more tips and tricks about your gaming YouTube shorts. Do it. Do it. Do it. So you want to export your project because you know it's going to be the next big thing. So you go in the deliver tab here on the right side. You're going to name your project uh, whatever you want. You select where you want to have it. I'll go for desktop for this one. And you select video here, export video needs to be checked. Uh, format up to you. I usually do MP4. Make sure to double check that it is in 1080 by 1920. This is the most crucial thing in the world. Then what you do is you add, click on add to render queue. On the right side, you're going to see here your project. And one more time, you need to click on render all like this. And now your video is being created or exported. Depends on your computer speed. It's not really long and it's been completed. Boom. Let's see how it looks. As you can see, it's in vertical format. So mission accomplished. And then you go on YouTube. You upload it with the hashtag shorts in your title or description. That's it. 
you have a gaming YouTube short. So there you go. I hope this video was really helpful. Like I said, if it was, click on the like, subscribe because more videos like this are coming. Also, I stream on YouTube gaming twice per week on Saturday and Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. My main games are Fall Guys and Fortnite. The rest of the week, I upload one gaming YouTube short per day so you can see them in my channel. And I want to know in the comment section, do you do gaming YouTube shorts? How many you do per week? Tell me more about you. I want to know more. I think that's it for today. Until next time, guys. <laughs> see ya.